Okay, this is the 2002 Ford Explorer um, XLT V8, and it has the common 4x4 flashing uh, problem. And usually it flashes three times and then goes off, which you should see here in just a minute. As you see right there, flashes three times. And then it disappears, and then about five minutes later, it'll flash again three times. Four-wheel drive seems to be working fine. The problem with this, uh, there's been a lot of, you know, debate, I guess. It could be a ground wire. could be these sensors, which are called, like, nine different things. Either a hull sensor, speed sensor. They're just named everything. And the correct two sensors on the transfer case is the following which is SW5644 and SW5645 it is the uh, like upper and lower they call it sensors and they can be called I've seen them called transmission sensors, speed sensors, hall sensors um, lots of different names for them so it's very hard to figure out what you're actually looking for for the 2002 for this is the two sensors that are needed both sensors visually look pretty much the same as far as the sensor itself uh, only difference really is the wire coloring and the wires are longer on one versus the other um, if internally if they're any different I don't think so because they're both kind of doing the same thing which is I guess determining the speed of the output shaft at the transfer case to know what the front shaft is doing versus the rear shaft Okay, here we are underneath the Explorer at the transfer case. This is the one sensor that will need to be replaced. As you can see, it has three wires coming out of it. And they are the green, the white, and the blue. They go down this harness up into this connector that's back here. The other sensor is located under the shift motor, which is back up in here which is a little hard to see right now, but I'll have to remove this shift motor to get to that sensor that's back over in this location. Move the bolts to hold on the shielding here. There's three bolts that hold it on. One, as you can see down here, has broken off, so I don't need to remove that one. So remove the two or three bolts to get that off. Now you can see the shift motor. And the one sensor, which we would call the lower sensor, is located right behind the shift motor. And there you can see the upper sensor there that monitors the rear drive shaft. Okay, uh, we have the sensor out. It's a little brittle sometimes, so it might break apart as you're taking it out, but there's just enough room to get it out. And I don't know if you can see way up or there, but you can see some teeth to, it's like, it's kind of like a gear, and that's where this sensor actually reads the speed of the drive shaft coming out. Here's the um, shift motor, and it just takes uh, four bolts that I take it out 10 millimeter. There's three up in this location and then there's one down in this location and then this motor will just come right out pretty much. As you can see here this is the lower sensor uh, that was located behind the motor that has been removed now and all these wires go into this one harness and this becomes a little bit more the difficult part is you gotta take some of these pins out. It's not just a plug and play kind of deal. You have to remove these wires from this connector and then reinsert them for both the sensors. This brown wire up here, this is working the magneto that I guess engages the uh, four wheel drive. Sometimes that wire can be a problem too. And there's also a ground wire down here which makes sure that has good connection or you could get uh, flashing lights also. Okay, so the connector has been disconnected. Here's the other part going to the car harness. This is the kind of the tricky part. This is the lower sensor, and you can see the three wires going in the connector here. You just need to make sure that when you push these out from this end, you put the new ones back in in the exact same slots. And the same thing goes for the three wires down here, which are from the upper sensor. So this is a good time to maybe take a picture um, or write down the location of where these pins insert into this connector. Okay. So this is the connector and there's this little piece that you have, that's sitting inside there like this. 
that you need to pull straight out and that unlocks the pins and then once you unlock the pins I pulled this cover back which I'm not 100% sure if you really have to pull that cover back but I pulled it back anyway and then you can pull the wires you need straight out and then you'll just replace them with the new ones and then when you get them all in then you replace the red clip that will hold everything securely back into place okay um, replaced all the wires uh, just remember to do one at a time this back cover does not need to come off the, the pins pull right through uh, it takes a little bit of pulling but they come right through I did put some dielectric grease on the end of all the pins to help them slide through um, and to keep any future corrosion out of the way so now I will reinsert this hold down clip which will go into here and then I'll you know lock every uh, pin into place and then we do the reassembly okay we have the top sensor back in and make sure to push in the three wires into the grooves and that will hold the wires down because this drive shaft flange will be turning and you don't want the wires to rub against it and then you'll have some problems obviously with the wires when they burn through also route the magneto wire or the electromagnet wire that's brown wrap the, run that back through this conduit here and then also there's this is the lower sensor there's a blue o-ring as you see there uh, put grease on that to help it uh, seal and to get her easily to put it back into the the casting here as you can see everything's pretty much back together except for the heat shielding uh, the two sensors are in this uh, clip right here is held in by one of the bolts that hold the shift motor in that'll help keep this harness uh, tight and close to the transfer case so it doesn't rub against the flange uh, the top bracket that holds uh, the connector in place that's held in by the top two bolts also of the uh, shift motor and then you need to make sure that the ground is also attached to the uh, to the bolts at the top of the shift motor motor and then next we'll just put the heat shielding on and then we'll be done and while I'm here might as well replace the uh, fluid in the transfer case which I'll drain through this hole and then I'll refill through this hole here and then when it starts pouring out of here then I'll know it's filled okay everything's back together I re-tacked on that little tab that cracked off there um, so this doesn't rattle um, so everything's back together put in new micron uh, synthetic transmission fluid into the transfer case and um, the battery's been disconnected the whole time so that'll kind of reset the computer so we'll take it out for a test drive but that should be it okay all done um, with the uh, sensor replacement so we'll try it out and everything looks good no flashing 4x4 so uh, that problem looks to be solved.